Please be seated. Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. On the court is now in session. The chamber will now hear testimony of an expert to TCE 1062 concerning his study at Chiang Kai, as well as the relevant materials and other issues within the scope of case 002. Court officer, please assert to TCE 1062 into the courtroom. L'intéressé dans le prétoire, huissier d'audience. President, good afternoon, Mr. Expert. Could you please tell the chamber your name? Comment vous appelez-vous? Expert. Réponse. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Bonjour, Monsieur My name is Vuen Bouti. Je m'appelle Vuen Bouti. President, President, thank you, Mr. Uh, Merci, and when were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born on 5th December 1973, says the expert. Question. And where were you born? Question. Où êtes-vous né? Answer. Réponse. I was born in Simrip province, province that is in, Sim, in Simrip commune, commune Simrip district. Simriep, district de Simriep. Question. Question. And where is your present address? Où résidez-vous actuellement? Answer. Réponse. At present, I lived in Phnom Penh. J'habite à Phnom Penh. In Tukl O 3. Tukl O 3. District. District de Tulkork. Question. And what is Question. your current occupation Quelle and est votre position? profession actuelle et quelle Answer. fonction exercez-vous? At present, I work Réponse. for the Ministry Je of Fine Arts. Je travaille actuellement pour le ministère des Beaux Arts. I was the uh, director of archaeology and prehistory for the uh, Cambodian de la section history. Archaeologie et préhistoire du Cambodge. President, Le and to your best knowledge, are you related uh, by blood or by law to any other two accused? There is no tea and kills on phone or any other civil parties admitted in avec une partie this civile case. Reconnue comme telle dans ce dossier. And uh, your honor, I am not uh, related to the accused. Je n'ai aucun lien de parenté avec les accusés. Question: Monsieur What about the civil parties? Are you related to Le any of the civil parties in this case? Qu'en est-il des civiles? Avez-vous un lien de parenté avec une des parties civiles? Answer: I am not related to any of them. Réponse: Non. Question: Have you taken an oath before the Iron Crown statue before your appearance? À la barre de fer avant de comparaître devant la chambre. Answer: Yes. Réponse: I have oui. taken an oath before the Iron Crown statue. J'ai prêté serment devant cette statue. President. Le président. On behalf of the chamber and the parties, the chamber would like to thank you for uh, coming here to Au testify. Nom 
and to assist the chamber in searching for the truth in relation to some important matters that is for the proceedings and for the general Cambodian population. And I'd like to answer some general. questions in relation to uh, your study background and uh, research. And Mr. Bouenbouti, could you tell the chamber about your educational background? That is, at what level did you end your education? And please uh, summarize it. Veuillez résumer l'instruction que vous avez reçue. Le niveau que vous avez studied atteint, anthropology at uh, the University of uh, Frank Arts. Then I went to study Ensuite, in Japan in relation to Fauna Remained, rather les... in uh, Fish Remained, and later on at the Fauna Reste Remained poisson, in Italy, in Bologna City, uh, concerning Bologne. birds. And then I continued my Ensuite, study in Hawaii University in the United States, that is in the remain analysis and demand bone conservation. De des Question, and to what level of achievement did you obtain? Were you at the uh, doctoral level? Question. Avez-vous obtenu un doctorat? Answer. Uh, I obtained my uh, master degree since I uh, pursued my uh, studies in my relevant fields. Obtenu une maîtrise dans mon domaine. Thank you. And Mr. Boutet, could you please uh, summarize the history of your uh, work? Retracer votre carrière professionnelle. And that is the chronology of uh, your work history uh, from the time that you started until the uh, present time. And uh, since 19 1988, I involved in the uh, research in archaeology, in particular focus on the prehistory as well as the uh, human bone. Et les Later on, Ensuite, I did my uh, research mené mes on the uh, gathering of the uh, remains as well as uh, those remains from prehistory. And in 1999, I participated in a, a historical research with a United States research group. Un groupe de chercheurs américains. And also in 1990, I participated in a, a research activity in prehistory in the eastern part of Cambodia. And from 2001 to 2003, I did my research in prehistory in the uh, prehistory uh, era. And from 2006 to 2007, I participated in the uh, study of the Angkorian era, and uh, later on, I did my uh, research suite, in many uh, regions uh, in Cambodia concerning Cambodge, the prehistory of Cambodia with a particular focus on the uh, changes uh, from one kingdom to the next. And by 2010, I fulfilled another study that is on human bone analysis at the Hawaiian University. And after I returned from the human bone analysis in the University of Hawaii, Dawai, I participated in a uh, work that is on the analysis of the human bone at the Genocide Center from 2013 to 2015. And at the present, I conducted analysis of human bones in four other areas, namely genocidal Chiang Genocidal Center, and second, Centre Wat Prasapadei Pagoda and Kampung Cham. Third, 
The analysis of uh, victims at Gokprek in Takai province and fourth, Take, Kopprek, I did my analysis une, uh, of a Krang Takian genocide or crime center. Au site de crime de génocide de Krang Tachan. President, thank you. Le président. Merci. Regarding your uh, research at the four uh, crime sites, Vous avez cité des recherches effectuées inter... sur quatre sites what de crime. Main focus? Sur quoi ont porté essentiellement vos recherches And what was your uh, role or position in those analysis? Quelle fonction avez-vous exercé dans le cadre de ce travail d'analyse? Answer. Réponse. In my research or the analysis of uh, those victims, dans mes recherches concernant l'analyse des was the, uh, restes uh, des victimes, and the, uh, j'ai été the directeur the et personne ressource chargé de diriger le groupe pour l'analyse et la conservation des remains. preuves au sujet des dépouilles de victimes. Of the pour ce the qui concerne l'analyse de la conservation du corps de victimes, l'objectif étant de préserver Available les with preuves, those uh, victims' remains, in order to preserve and to record the history that happened between 1975 to 1979. De la période 75-79. Je parle du début 1979. The the, uh, Deuxième objectif de cette analyse document, rassembler des documents historiques. In order for the uh, next generation pour to la prochaine génération, afin d'éviter qu'un tel régime and the, uh, sign, and the ne revienne. Troisième objectif, the, the consigner les marques upon them. apparentes sur les ossements uh, des victimes qui témoigne President, des thank you and sévices I noticed that for your last response uh, you speak rather slowly vous avez, and that would be ideal in this situation bon que vous parliez assez lentement comme vous l'avez fait uh, your, dans la dernière réponse Since your uh, response will be interpreted uh, effet, into vos other languages and uh, your area seems to langues. be new uh, to some of us so that the please uh, speak slowly so that uh, your response will be properly interpreted Nous connaissons pas très bien votre domaine de travail. Veuillez donc parler lentement pour être bien compris. And regarding those projects that you were involved, vous avez donc cité quelques projets for, uh, sites, auxquels vous avez participé en rapport avec quatre uh, sites de crimes. Ended? Ces projets ont-ils pris fin Ou bien y a-t-il des projets en cours Answer. Réponse. In my research, all the four projects uh, are completely ended Les this month, and the last project that is complètement uh, fin ce mois the crime site of a Krang Tachan. Pour ce qui est du site de crime de Krang Tachan, c'est le dernier projet. Thank you, says the president. And question. Le président. And uh, why are you interested in participating Pourquoi in these uh, projects? Souhaitez-vous participer à ces projets relatifs à quatre sites de crime Answer. Réponse. My interest in participating in uh, this area, as well as the duties of my uh, faculty, since I am also one of the uh, victims. As I lost Ce travail, my father, je who suis was a teacher, une victime. J'ai perdu mon père, qui était enseignant, qui était tué fin 76. And In my family, we Et lost dans ma six famille, members. nous avons perdu uh, secondly, six membres. My duty Deuxièmement, c'est mon devoir, puisque je suis le chef d'une unité chargé de recueillir des documents historiques. And that cannot be forgotten, and that we all have to have to acknowledge it. Veillez à ce que cela ne soit pas oublié. Question. And besides your uh, research on the uh, bones of the uh, victims of the uh, regime in the four crime sites, 
aux quatre sites de crime have you, uh, en question, uh, avez-vous effectué d'autres recherches Answer. Réponse. Besides our analysis on the marks uh, contains on the victims' remains, des marques visibles sur we also studied uh, the surrounding uh, context uh, around those crime sites, which led sites de crime, to, with, uh, with resulted in the killing of those uh, victims by the Khmer Rouge, pour voir quels facteurs ont conduit à l'exécution de ces victimes par les Khmer Rouge, each, uh, pour uh, savoir of the four, uh, pourquoi ces gens ont été For exécutés example, sur les quatre sites. Uh, the Eight, par exemple, uh, site, à Chiang Mai, quel type de victimes ont été exécutées sur place? Krang -Tachan. Même chose pour Krang Tachan. President, thank you. Now I'd like to uh, ask Merci. you about the uh, conservation uh, projects of victims' bones at the Chiang Mai Genocide of Center. Regarding uh, this uh, project, who initiated the project? Qui est à l'origine de ce projet? Was it you that initiated this project, or was it uh, somebody else initiated? Ou quelqu'un d'autre? Answer. Réponse. Regarding the uh, conservation or the analysis of our victims, de la conservation uh, the de corps de victime, genocidal center, au centre du génocide de Chiang Mai, I myself and those staff at the Chiang Mai, moi-même et d'autres employés de Chiang Mai, avons décayed, constaté and que then les ossements se décomposaient. That if the uh, victims remains uh, Continue to be in that way nous disions without their proper, uh, que conservation, si l'on ne conservait pas remains, uh, les wood, uh, ils se décomposeraient et seraient perdus. Nous avons obtenu un financement du centre de Chiang Nous avons aussi eu l'autorisation du ministère afin de mener des recherches sans la participation des 16 membres de mon équipe. Le travail aurait été très difficile. Sachez que dans le cadre de ce projet de conservation, il y a six parties d'autres pays qui s'impliquent. Premièrement, des experts du Kosovo Second, we also Deuxièmement, have uh, experts from the United States, des des from New Zealand, de -Zélande, from England, who cooperated with us ont avec nous in order to assist us in the analysis of the human remains so that we could succeed humains. and to, to make it more effective. Pour pouvoir travailler plus efficacement. President, uh, thank you. And uh, regarding uh, your uh, uh, project, S'agissant du projet relatif au site d'exécution de Chiang Kai, sur combien de temps s'est-il étendu Est-ce qu'il a débouché sur des publications, de livres, de documents Et si oui, à quelle date Réponse. Regarding the analysis of human bones of victims at the Chiang Kai Genocide Center, we started in 2013 and it continues to 2015. Et nous avons travaillé jusqu'en 2015. For the documents, we actually compiled a three-part document. One is the database, and second is in the form of a book. Deuxièmement, and, uh, un ouvrage. Third Troisièmement, is stored uh, in a digital form that is on CD or external uh, drive. Un CD. Also in term of the uh, conservation. Lisible sur un disque, disque externe. Of uh, uh, victims' bones, we conserve 6,424. 6,424 restes d'ossements humains de victimes ont été conservés. President, uh, thank you. Also, could you please Merci. tell the Chamber regarding your methodology and the process of uh, conservation de votre méthodologie of the uh, bones at uh, Chiang Mai? How was it conducted? Comment avez-vous opéré? Answer. 
réponse. S'agissant des méthodes de conservation des ossements de victimes et concernant aussi leur analyse, il y a Take out the bones or the remains to study marks or traces on the bones. Then we cleaned the bone. Before that, photographs were taken on those marks on the remains, in particular on the cranium. And after that, we have to register the. The bones. That is to give an identification to each victim. That is to number it, starting from zero one. That is zero one, the not being victim one. Later on, the cleans were the bones were cleaned. Nettoyage des os. And then we compare the marks on those bones that were photographed. Entre les différents marques photographiées et visibles sur les ossements. And if there is any missing parts, then we would register it. That is to avoid any confusion. And after such a verification, we re-photograph. So that the marks on the bones would be put onto our inventory. And after that, we begin Ensuite, to analyze the gender of the cranial, that is male or female, the age range, and the cause of death. We did this analysis, and we also have to analyze how many marks or traces of trauma or the traumatism. Cranium or on the skeletal elements, and after we examine those marks, then we have to analyze what kind of tool was used. Namely, was it a stick or an iron club, or was it a knife that was used, or was it an axe? And after we examined the marks, then we registered them. We photographed the marks, and we compare the tools that we found. After such analysis, we proceeded to the next step, that is to conserve those marks so that they would not be lost. And finally, we would conserve the. The bones or the remains by the form of in the form of a consolidation, so that those remains would not go decay. De façon consolidée pour éviter la décomposition de ces restes humains. Ensuite, nous documentons toutes les étapes du processus. Ensuite, nous documentons toutes les étapes du processus. For the next generation or for the next researchers, des générations futures ou des chercheurs qui pourraient s'en servir comme échantillon. And those documents have not yet been published. Ces documents n'ont pas encore été publiés. Faute de financement suffisant. President, thank you for your rather detailed response. Merci pour cette réponse détaillée. And in terms of your research and analysis, concernant vos recherches, votre analyse, do you refer to any existing documents or did you interview any individuals? Avez-vous interviewé des gens? Answer in the course of our analysis. We divided them into three major steps or stages before we begin our process of analysis or conservation. We studied the general context or history of the site. Then we interviewed the living witnesses for the interviews, and the interviews were conducted in three stages. That is, those who came through the site and who witnessed the corpse of the of the victims, so that we can evaluate the the graves or the pits. And second, we interviewed those people who worked there, that is, during the Pol Pot regime, or those who used to enter the area, for example, Hamhui, who used to work there. 
qui a travaillé. Stage of Troisième étape, à présent, il s'agit d'interviewer uh, les gens qui ont pu être témoins d'exécution ou qui ont vu uh, des gens side. se faire escorter vers le site de crime. So these are the three, uh, main voilà donc inter, uh, stages. les trois étapes principales. President, uh, thank you. And based on your uh, research, can you inform the chamber of how you uh, identified or determined uh, Sur la base de vos recherches, comment the uh, violent trauma or max déterminer on the uh, cranial or on the skeletal elements ou la marque of the victims apparente sur le crâne ou sur les ossements de la victime? Answer. Réponse. First, allow me to uh, provide uh, you, Your Honor, with the first stage that is to interview those eyewitnesses. J'aimerais revenir sur la première étape, à savoir interviewer We les témoins oculaires. We studied how the people were placed at the crime site before Nous they were uh, sent to be killed. Nous les gens ont été amenés And then we are uh, engaged in a reconstruction by drawing tuer. sketches Il as I uh, uh, show here. Il y a une au moyen de dessins tels que j'en ai This is to en main. So The, uh, ces dessins uh, had evidence based on the testimony of live sont des illustrations qui s'appuient sur les témoignages de témoins vivants. That is Ensuite, uh, c'est l'analyse de example, chaque marque. Victims are divided into uh, two Par groups. Exemple, that is, uh, whether les they were the direct victims of the killing or by the uh, direct d'exécution. Scientific medicine. Here we could see autre. that a cranium was a method was a cranium various path that is uh, before the victim was sent to be killed. Qui ont and this is uh, a photo of another victim that the victim was subject to torture. La victime that is a person who was pushed against a, a solid a material. It could be a wall, dur, so mur. that you could see a dent. Ainsi voit and the victim could die there or trou. could be killed uh, later on. Que la personne est morte sur le coup. As Ouh, for the other method, that is, the person was killed Ensuite, by a scientific medicine. The victim was subject to experiments. A été then tué there, dans would, le there, there was a wound médicale. on uh, the uh, cranium. Et dans ce cas, on peut voir uh, counsel and Dr. Say, do you have a floor? Blessure au crâne. Maître Guissa, allez-y. Uh, merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I apologize uh, for interrupting uh, the expert uh, uh, as he uh, is uh, testifying. Uh, but uh, for the record, we're going to have a problem in what I've heard, or in any case, what I heard in French, uh, uh, because I see that the expert is referring to, to documents uh, showing. But the problems that we're we'll going to document, we won't know which documents we're talking about because he's pointing them out. So, first question are these excerpts of, or are these photographs that are in his uh, uh, research, and if that's the case, we should know the reference numbers so that we can indeed uh, uh, follow properly the, the expert's uh, demonstration. Alternatively, I agree, we have to make copies and then attach them to the transcript to clarify what he's referring to, but perhaps the first question is... Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, <coughs> I, I would just add to that that each... Each victim, que chaque victime, uh, skull that was examined has a specific remain number, a specific identification number. So I, I don't know whether he knows précis. that. That's one way he, he could uh, identify uh, or he could get the information to us later if, if he doesn't have it right now. Par lesquels il pourrait nous faire parvenir l'information s'il ne dispose pas de ces données. Do you understand the problem, uh, sir? You are, you are talking to us, but we need something in writing. And if you are just waving a picture, it doesn't show in the transcript. So we need to find a way to clarify from the written transcript what you were talking about. Nous avons besoin de matérialiser dans la transcription ce dont vous parlez.
bà sum ở cồn sum tôi đấy đời xa bình chi xa rồi với quân miền là hốt đỏ xám sấp pì có bá sầm rạp chôn rong cua là hốt đỏ mà bờ môi quân buôn rồi mà phơi bờ môi à vậy đây là nhóm And this is the book reflecting uh, the uh, scalps and also the remains of the traces. qui montre les crânes et les restes portant des traces. And uh, we show in the documents only uh, three Dans le document, uh, traumas or scars. Que trois cicatrices ou trois traumatismes. I have already provided uh, a copy of this book une to the court. J'ai déjà remis une copie de cet ouvrage à la chambre, au tribunal. President, thank you very much. Le président, merci. And these are the introductory or preliminary questions uh, put to you by me. And as for substantive questions, uh, will be asked. Those questions will be asked by parties. Par les parties. I I'm interested in the approaches and methodologies that you use in your research and projects so that they can set lights to, they can be used as the basis for the questioning of parties tomorrow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Based on your study and research, and also the study and research of your group, mené par vous-même et votre groupe, did do you uh, distinguish the remains of the victims, particularly the remains of victims suffered by the weapons? use at a time. Can you clarify for the court? Selon le type d'instrument utilisé à l'époque. Expert. Pouvez-vous préciser? The research and Expert. analysis that we have conducted. La recherche et analyse que nous avons menée. Uh, focusing on the victims at uh, Jung Ai. Porté essentiellement sur les victimes. There were 6,426 remains at Chengek, and we have found that there were 28,083 victims, uh, traces, and some of them were killed by the bamboo, and 4,802 traces were suffered from the iron bar and the club. And 5,806 were the traces of uh, suffered by the iron tool des instruments en fer, and des outils en fer utilisés. the traces of uh, the knives consist of 3,563 and uh, traces of uh, the back of the hole, Les 541, and traces uh, de, de because of X, uh, 101, and traces uh, of bullets, 165, traces used by trace de balle, uh, Bayonet, 990, and traces at the back of the neck, consists of 48. And for remains uh, concerning uh, chemical uh, elements uh, are 286. 
286. And the consists of uh, 38 uh, traces se levait à 38 38 traces and de torture the victim died because of the iron uh, poking into the ears 758 de, de we have uh, compared the tools used at Jung Aik and Tours Lang and we have found the Nous avons tools used to treat, mistreat the victim, 8, 11 traces, and the medical traces, the uh, remains, because of medical, medical treatment, is 9 traces of torture. On the teeth, meaning that the victims uh, were uh, punched. Coup porté aux victimes. Ah, uh, eight. Trace de coup porté aux victimes, huit. President Antagusé, you may now proceed. Excusez-moi, Monsieur le Président, m'interrompre. I apologize uh, to interrupt once again, again but I think that the expert is reading a document, so maybe it would be useful uh, for us to know document which document he's reading from, so that we may uh, follow him. Si un document qui est versé au dossier is this a document on the case file? So then, in that case, we'd like to know what its reference is. Um, I, I believe. Uh, I can be of some assistance. Um, it, it seems that the, the expert is reading from document E3 slash uh, 10648. However, he is using total numbers rather than um, the documents that we have. Um, so, um, it might be useful to, to have that uh, total number as well. Cet auto um, également. It's English ERN 013 2488 the correct documents where you'll find these totals um, that the expert was just giving are two of the new new charts or documents that were just admitted by the trial chamber yesterday, I think. Uh, E3 10765 and E3 uh, 10766 contain the totals of the various um, markings of the, the various types of markings found. Du coup, est-ce que je, je, je peux former une requête Therefore, can I make a request Est-ce que je peux former du coup une requête à la chambre si um, to the chamber, so if the uh, expert is using documents que nous that were déjà, disclosed to us uh, for which we already have uh, the ERN numbers as well as the E3 numbers, is it therefore possible to provide the Khmer uh, version uh, of these documents de façon à ce que, uh, with the experts so that when points, the expert is referring to figures at the points, we know exactly which page uh, of the document he's referring to. That's a request. So the practical request that I'm um, um, presenting to the chamber. But let the Paul like him bad ban to read June. What I have just told the court is based on so the, the document that I provided already to the court. The document that I have already remis à la chambre. And this document is also also reflects in the, a, a book uh, authored by a an expert, a foreign expert. President, I thank you very much. Again, I only put introductory questions to you, so please uh, answer briefly. And you are advised not to respond in detail. You can only uh, raise one or two examples. That is enough. Tomorrow you will be the questions, substantive ones, will be put Demain, to you by parties, par and the concerned documents uh, will be prepared for you tomorrow, 
the documents uh, used here has something to do with the identification number and pages that parties need to refer to. So everyone needs to refer specifically to the EON number, identity, document number and pages. President, so what uh, did you do in order to distinguish the uh, traces of the victims uh, of the decay? Answer. In order to identify the victims who died in the genocidal regime, or who died at a genocidal uh, site, uh, we used certain documents. And we looked at the remains. Uh, if uh, the remains was discovered from the exact site, I have told the court already, we first have to make analysis of the site. Then we proceed to analyze the remain or the victim. If we want to establish that the victims uh, really died in the grave, we need to thoroughly examine the remains uh, to avoid that uh, we may be confused of the victims who had died before the, the, the Khmer Rouge time and during the Khmer Rouge time. We have also we have also exhumed some remains uh, dated back to 2,500 years ago on some occasions. So, I have to need much time to explain in detail about the expertise. J'espère de suffisamment de temps pour décrire dans les détails notre expertise. Concerning the scalps and remains, after you have uh, made the analysis, uh, can you find out when the victims died? Avez-vous pu déterminer le moment? Où les témoins, ou plutôt les victimes, sont décédés. We did not conduct the DNA analysis or 14 carbon C14. We could only identify the gender and the age of the victims. And we can only find out the victims or the remains in the grave site. In the whole Jung I uh, well, uh, site, uh, we could uh, see 129 sites, and we could only uh, exhum 89 sites. The Khmer Rouge uh, used DDT to spray on the grave site. So we could uh, find out that uh, those victims. Uh, died at that site during the period, but for at Krang Dajan, sometimes we did not, uh, we could not find out the trace whether or not the victim died from the period. This is just one example I can brought, I can bring to your attention. President, you made mention about Krang Tachan, so how could you find out if the victims really died at Krang Tachan? Answer. At Krang Tachan, we analyzed the traces and the mud. We uh, took out the uh, mud that came with the remains of the victim and made the analysis. For uh, people who died in a normal situation, usually the remain does not come with the mud. Uh, this is the... Uh, basis that we can identify. C'est là la base de notre identification. 
besides uh, the Have you found other remains? And have you found that those remains uh, were stored at uh, various locations for the four locations that uh, were under your projects? Récupéré dans d'autres sites. Je vais parler des quatre sites The skull is an important part to identify the gender and the age of the victim and whether or not the victim was tortured and bitten during the the period. We examined the bones of the arms and legs as well. At Jung Ai, we examined 63,112 bones. And at that location, people exhumed bones and they did not exhum and uh, get out the small bones, uh, for example, the finger bones. So at the four locations, we could uh, find uh, skeletal remains. Sites, on a donc pu des restes de squelettes. President, I am now asking you about Chung uh, Aik. Je vais à présent vous poser des questions sur le site de Chung Aik. When you conducted your research at Cheng Ai on the skeletal remains and scalps, sur les crânes et les restes de squelettes humains, did you ever find the remains which were not the results of uh, clubs and bars used? To kill people at the time. De victimes qui n'avaient pas été tuées à l'aide de matraques, gourdins ou bar Answer. ou autres bars à l'époque. At Chung Ai, among the 6,426 bones, after we conducted the analysis, we could find only one skull that was not result of the torture or uh, the. Uh, heavy beating by uh, the tools. De there was only one skull. Par des instruments. Il avait un seul crâne. I would like to add another point. Je that ceci. skull was not uh, the skull from Ce the crâne. outside side because uh, we could find the mud which came with the scalp, but uh, that scalp uh, was not the result of torture. President, uh, you have brought uh, several examples. I do not want you to expand on your answers. I would like to know about the methodologies and the approaches that you used and your group used. How could you find out that uh, some remains uh, were resu a result of uh, the violent uh, tools? Que certains restes portaient des marques. Answer. We, based on our comparisons par of réponses. the tools Nous with the traces on outils. the remains. Avec For example, the remains 0326. This remain 0326 is the result of uh, a long bar a été porté and that long bar was uh, a été par un into bar. Uh, the head. We uh, did not uh, draw our conclusion based on our subjective opinion. We used uh, the equipment, telescope. Nous avons utilisé un telescope. 
to examine the small objects as well. A microscope. We are going to use a microscope to examine the small particles. President, you have already told the court that uh, some remains are results of the chemical elements. Que certains restes portaient des what traces is your basis de chimiques. Sur quoi vous for your conclusion that uh, the victim died of uh, chemical elements? Regarding the chemical reaction, as far as we are concerned, the poison usually transform the shape of the bones, the colors of the bones. So we have to uh, look at the transformation of the colors. As for the bones, under the chin, uh, if uh, the victim died of chemical reaction, usually it became dark and the lips, the bones uh, at the lips uh, position also change the color. In addition to that, we uh, also sent uh, that remains to our colleagues abroad to have a confirmation. President, I, I'm not really an expert in that field, and I really, I'm really interested in your explanation regarding some victims. You stated that victims. Uh, Ears were cut off. Que les oreilles des victimes ont été and to me, uh, the, when the ears are cut off, I don't think uh, traces uh, will remain Et on the sens, bones. So how could you uh, find out that uh, some remains are the result of uh, ear cutting, cutting uh, injury? que certaines lésions sur les restes ont été portées par une amputation de l'oreille. Vous avez vous avez raison, l'oreille ne fait pas partie de l'os. Mais si les oreilles sont amputées, la cicatrice reste près de l'oreille. Donc si nous trouvons que ce trait est de l'oreille, if one trace is found out, so si it's not uh, the trace of the ear cutting. But usually when ears are cut off, there are many traces there because of the forces of the knife or the tool use. And when we compare the traces, we can find out that it is the traces of ear cutting. President, I thank you very much. And you stated that some victims, some remains uh, are the result of uh, shackling. So what is your approach to find out that uh, some victims uh, died uh, with uh, the shackles on. Comment avez-vous pu déterminer que certaines victimes sont mortes alors qu'elles étaient entravées? Answer. Some victims died while being tied and also shackled. We could find the scars on the bones. When the victim died, the string or the knots uh, remain with the bones or remains. For example, when we find out the small shackles, then we will have doubt in mind whether the small shackles are used to uh, 
cycle children or adults and after we conduct the research we can find out that the small cycles can also be used to cycle the adults president what tools have you found when you conducted your research at Chiang Lorsque vous avez mené votre étude, I want à to know the tools that you found out Je and you uh, could find out the, the tool that you found out that uh, they were used to kill people at Jung Ai. Answer. We have found ten types of uh, tools. I will bring uh, one or two or three tools. Among them, there were axes, uh, iron bars, knives, iron rods, the square wood. I have uh, uh, elaborated 18 types of those tools for you already. The tools are included in the inventory attached to the book. And pictures are also attached in the inventory book as well. President, another question to put to you is that Autre question. You could identify the gender and age Vous of victims. Le genre et âge des What victimes. methods did you use to find out and establish Quelle that the victims are uh, uh, male, female, young sexes. children and adults? et l'âge des victimes, hommes, femmes, jeunes enfants ou adultes. We have the formula used not by Cambodian but by the world. Uh, the book is so heavy, I have left it outside this courtroom. That uh, formula is used worldwide to identify the victim. One is male and female. First, we look at uh, the eyebrow. If, uh, if it is male, usually it's it's round, and, and usually for the female eyebrow is flat, and for male, usually the earlobe is short and le female is long. Chez les et long chez les we need to have the seven, we need to meet the crit seven criteria Nous to find out one is male or female. And on the scalp, there is a line on the scalp, so we can find out the age of the uh, in, of the victim by looking at the line on the scalp. This is the uh, formula used worldwide. President. And based on your research, after you uh, have examined and analyzed the remains, uh, how many were male and female and how many were children? The female remains were 1,611. Again, among the 6,426, the female remain were 1,611 and male remains 4,798. As for age range, we Quand divided them into five categories, categories, three years old films. to eight years old, Les trois habitants. 13 of them, Dans ce cas, nous avons un nombre de 13. eight years old Ensuite, to la 19 years old, 241. 8 ans à 19 ans, I would like to back, go back. 
Ici, je Among the 13 mourir. children, Sur les 13 enfants, two are female, deux and étaient des fillettes. Eleven are female. For the age between eight and nineteen, the remains consist of two hundred and forty one seventy four male, two hundred and sixty seven female. And from twenty to thirty four years old. We have 3,984, amongst whom male were 2,845, and female 1,127, and there were 12 uh, skulls that we could not determine their gender for this uh, age range. Ensuite, pour and uh, le sexe the main reason is that uh, the, the remains of the skulls were not uh, complete. Que les As for the age range, ensuite, 35 through 45, la tranche 35 it was 1,894. And Mr. President, would you like me to read the uh, complete list? Que je lise toute la liste? Les interprètes signalent que des chiffres ont été manqués à cause de la so rapidité de l'exposé. So for the 35 to 45 age, 49 range was 1,894. Male was 1,718 and female was 2,775. And one uh, skull that the agenda could not be determined. President, uh, Mr. Expert, please uh, slow down for the proper uh, record. But but to tell you, I mean, I used to laugh, chappy, has a chum, I'll have some bunch of them. Fifty to sixty-nine. Pour la tranche d'âge cinquante There are two two hundred and seventy-three, and the male is two hundred and forty-five. The female is twenty-seven. And uh, there is one uh, skull that the gender could not be determined. The age range from seventy and above. Pour le sexe est there indéfinissable. are 18 uh, pour les crânier, male was 14 and female was 4. Crâne, 14 hommes, 4 femmes. And we have three uh, scouts that, uh, could, that the crânes, agenda could not be determined due to the incompleteness of uh, those scouts. Établi, car ces ossements étaient incomplets. President, uh, thank you, Mr. Bumutti. President. I have Merci. no uh, further uh, questions uh, for question. you, and maybe uh, judges of the bench have some Les questions. Les si tel n'est pas le cas, the chamber will adjourn the uh, proceedings for today. Since the chamber cannot uh, proceed to hear the further testimony of this uh, expert, since uh, de la part de of the documents involved is in relation to a Kang Ta Chan, which is uh, part of the scopes of the proceedings in case 002 and it, it has just been uh, translated into English and parties only uh, just received it. Document so that we need to give a reasonable time to the party to study the document. And that is the reason for today's adjournment. And we will resume tomorrow, that is Wednesday, 14 December 2016, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. Tomorrow, the Chamber will uh, continue to hear the testimony of this expert, Mr. Abouti. And Mr. Expert, the Chamber Monsieur is grateful of your testimony. However, it is not yet concluded. Déposer. And we Votre will invite you to return tomorrow, uh, commencing from 9 o'clock in the morning. And, court officer, please work Monsieur with Bissou to arrange for Mr. Mumuti to return to his residence and invite him back into the courtroom tomorrow.
et pour qu'ils soient dans le prétoire de main, agents de sécurité, veuillez reconduire au centre de détention les deux accusés et les ramener dans le prétoire de main pour 9h du matin. L'audience est levée.